OK, right, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a Google Base uh, feed directly from the store. Um, Google Base is what drives Google product search, um, and there's an automated feed you can set up. You set it up once, and then the products are pushed out every night um, after that automatically. Just to give you a quick idea of what Google Base and Google product search is, if I'm in Google and I do a regular search for what I know is a product, um, Google identifies it as a product and pushes the... Um, Google product results up to the top. Um, if I click on there, I can see the full results. Obviously, there's, there's value in uh, in doing that. All these products are because merchants have submitted them to Google Base. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. It used to be called Frugal, uh, but now it's called Google Product Search, I think. But the thing that powers it behind is Google Base. So I'm going to go to the Google Base admin area. It's called Google Product Search. I've just done a search for Google Base. I'm going to open that up. The only other thing I've got open in the other tab is the store site store promotion area page. Okay, so in here it's asking me to sign in. Now you need a Google account for this. If you've got a Gmail account, you've ever used any other Google services, you'll have a Google account. If not, you can create one there. Um, if I sign in there, okay, it's asking me for a username and a password. So we pop those in, log in, and click sign in, and there we go. It logs me in. Okay takes me straight through to the dashboard. The first time you log in it will ask you for some general information about your company which you can just enter, uh, what it is, the web page URL, you can get all that information and, you, and pop that in, that's just a one-off process, nothing to do with the feeds. Okay, and then once you're in the dashboard, if you click data feeds, okay, you can see we've already got a feed set up, um, and um, the first time you come in here you'd uh, click create new data feed, uh, pick a target country, give it the data feed file name which is always um, easywebstore.txt for all merchants and then click save changes that creates the uh, data feed okay I've already been through this step here but that's how you do it so I've gone back and once you've done that uh, you will see on here that your data feed's been set up okay now the next thing you do is you need to set up an FTP account under settings and FTP okay you need a username which we've chosen the same as the merchants username for the system and then you need to choose a password I'm just going to pick something now temporary uh, the merchant can go in and change this later and then I'm going to click save changes so there we go we've got that okay obviously uh, Google doesn't like the strength of my password so make sure you choose a strong password right that's fine so I've set that up and um, that's everything at the Google end. So now I go into the promotion store promotion center and I click promote products and then under Google Base make sure it's enabled. The username that goes in there, the FTP username, is the same as this. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it in there. And the password is the one I just entered, which is 23. And then I click update. That's it. Google Base is now wired up. Um, Click save changes and um, oops, I'd already saved changes. Okay, that's that. So now if you go back into here with the data feeds, it should automatically update. Now it updates every evening, late at night. You can come back the next day and it should uh, show an upload, show the feed, it should give you some stats uh, about data quality, any other issues um, that come back. Um, that's all you need to do basically. Um, Lastly, a couple of tips for actually um, getting good rankings on Google Product Search itself. If I go back to google.co.uk and search for that, um, okay, you can see the Product Search shopping results down here. I'm just going to click that. Okay, now you see these merchants. Part of the ranking algorithm takes into account uh, seller ratings. Uh, these ratings are not submitted directly to Google itself, but uh, Google actually collects these off third party sites. So you should search for products that you're selling and look at your competitors on base, see where they got their ratings from, and then obviously provided you're giving a good service you should uh, send links out to your customers uh, once you've fulfilled the uh, order and um, ask them politely if they'll consider going on and, uh, and, and rating your store and you can build up ratings obviously for a product like this 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 seller here is obviously quite a big seller they've got a lot of ratings but on uh, on smaller more niche markets then it's possible there's quite a few people ranking in there with no rate, uh, ratings or a small number of ratings 
uh, that's it basically that's all there is to it